my advice to anybody out there trying to do, you know, trying to be a professional photographer, making a living from photography, is to do what you love to do. Not what people want you to do or what you think you should do, but reach deep inside, go, what do I mostly like to shoot pictures of? And focus that, focus all your talents on that if you wanna make money and succeed. I've landed big campaigns. Honestly, most of the big campaigns I've landed, like Coca-Cola, I've been shooting for Coca-Cola three years. I do 10 shoots a year, probably for them, all based on a test that I did for myself that cost me about five grand. It was a conversation that I'd had when I was shooting for Nike. Somebody's husband worked for an agency that was working on Coca-Cola and I, they heard me mentioning a project I was working on and said, hey, when you get finished with that, can you send me an email, I'd love to see it. Sure enough, that's what I did. If I didn't send that email, I guarantee you, I would not be as successful as I am today because of that one picture I took. It wasn't even a series of photos, it was one photo. It was a testament to like, I wanted to do it, I thought of the image in my head, and I shot it, and I put it out there for the world to see, and I, got, I landed a job. I, I truly believe in passion. If you have passion for anything, and that's, you know, let's forget about photography for a minute, but anything you do, um, you gotta be passionate about it. It should not be a job for you. And you have to listen to yourself. There's no facts in photography. There really are no facts. Rules of thirds, any of this stuff, oh, the, it's gotta be, you know, the, the, the horizon line's gotta be perfectly straight. Sure, it could be perfectly straight, but why does it have to be perfectly straight? Because somebody wants it to be perfectly straight. It's just doing, finding something and doing it and putting it out there for the world to see. And the internet, are you kidding me? I can't ima imagine all the photographers that are dead now that never got to see it, the internet. I mean, where would they be now? These blog sites, people, daily blogs, you can put up your images right away. You can be anywhere and upload it in a reasonable time. But you have the vehicles to move your stuff. 